wow, gumana yung video ng camera, I mean ng laptop ko finally. Hey guys, it's Eunice and it's actually 9.30pm and I'm really tired kasi the sun sets here at around 7.30 so parang ayun, parang kagagabi pa lang pero pagod na, ramdam na ng katawan ko yung pagod. And alam nyo ba, two weeks ago I was in Gold Coast and then ngayon, nandito na ulit ako sa Melbourne. And for some reason, um, I'm going to be very, very vulnerable sa video na to because even I am shocked at what's happening right now. Sabi ko nga, hindi ko expect. As you guys know, nag-blow up yung video ko when I was in the Philippines. And yung viewers ko nun is mga Filipinos na nasa Philippines. And since I came here, pag nag upload ako, ang viewers na is yung mga Filipinos na nasa Australia. na detect kasi ni TikTok kung nasan ka. And ipapakita niya yung videos mo kung nasang lugar ka. So that's how it works. And simula nun, naka-receive ako ng mga um, hates. First, yung hates ko from four months, five months ago, maybe six months ago, binabasya ko kasi imposible daw na 100k lang talaga yung nagastos ko. And, ayun, ang dami kong bashers na fake news daw ako, ganyan, 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 ganyan. Parang tanda ko nun, three days ata ako o two days akong hindi halos makatulog kasi binabasa ko talaga yung mga comments. And nasasad ako because wala, hindi ko naman in-expect na, magbo, na magbo-blow up yung video ko. Pag-gising ko na lang, ang dami ng hates, ang dami ng nagsasabi na sinungaling ako. And nakakalungkot kasi I was only coming from a place of wanting to share. Kasi grade 5 pa lang talaga ako, pangarap ko na mag-Australia. And syempre, hindi naman kami mayaman para magawa yun agad. And nung na... Success, yun, success story ko yun eh, na nakapunta ako ng ibang bansa for only 100k. And nung shinare ko yon, maraming nagalit. Maraming nag-bash. Maraming nag-turn down. Na fake news daw. Na scam daw. Even nung pagpunta ko dito sa Australia, nung may proof na na nakarating ako, still the hates kept going on. And then, they died down. And when I got here, sunod-sunod yung blessings ni Lord. I don't know if nakwento ko na. Feeling ko naman nakwento ko na sa inyo. Pero pagdating ko dito, talagang parang nakahanda yung Australia sa akin. Parang nakahanda yung trabaho ko, yung friends ko, yung mga taong mamimit ko. And it has been my prayer to come here since I was in elementary school. And I know to myself that I have been faithful sa prayer na yun. It has always been in my heart na hindi ko pinakawalan. And God is the God. Sorry, ako. God is the God who who hears and provides and grants the desires of our hearts. Tayo, pag nag-wish tayo, gusto lang natin yung ganito. Akala natin, it's too much to ask for na, pero pag nagbigay si Lord, mas malaki pa pala. And nung nangyayari yung mga sunod-sunod na blessing na yun, sabi ko, Lord, I don't deserve this. Anong kapalit nito? Sinabi ko to sa parents ko, it was like I was waiting for the shoe to drop because sunod-sunod talaga yung blessing na ang lalaki na hindi ko hindi ko talaga ma-imagine kung bakit ako biniblest ng ganun. Pero one day, I realized and I woke up that God is so big, that God is so great na yung blessings na yun binuksan niya lang yung window niya. Hindi pa yun yung door niya. So, ganun siya magbigay. I remember one story sa Bible na this woman asked God for blessings. Tapos, parang, di ba, sabi ni, sabi ni Jesus, hindi ko ibibigay sa'yo ang para sa, ang hindi para sa'yo. But the woman said, even the crumbs, enough na yun for her. And, naano ako doon, yung crumbs na yon more than enough to fill the girl's need. 
Pero God also said na yung bread is para sa kanyang anak, ba? Diba? Eh, anak niya tayo. Eh, kung yung crumbs pa lang na yun, todo-todo na i-bless yung girl, what if makuha pa natin yung bread? Ganon, ganon, ganon mag-bless si Lord. If God wants to reward you, He will. And He sees and He hears your prayer, even your prayer from when you were a child. Minsan, late yan dadating. Sorry, naiiyak ako kasi. When we experience good, great things, and people see that, yung mga tao na hindi kilala si Lord, hindi sila happy for you. In fact, they are gonna hate you. They're gonna try to bring you down, bring you down. And I'm really sad, really sad for these people, because I know that my God, my God is big. And kapag kapag si Lord yung nagtake ng revenge for me, malaki din siya. God is just. And these people who are accusing me, putting words in my mouth, dragging me down, tearing me down, even tearing the Lord down, I cannot imagine what God would do to them. And actually, today at work, I'm like, Lord, Lord, wag niyong sobrahan yung, wag niyo please sobrahan. I want them, I want them to know you. I want them to experience your love. Yung love na pinaramdam niyo sa akin. Ang dali magalit pabalik, pero thank God for thank God for compassion thank God for wisdom ang magagawa ko lang talaga is to pray for them, you know pumasok ko sa room kasi nasa labas yung mga friends ko and they're gonna see this they know I've been quiet they know I don't watch any videos, they know I don't read comments unless they send it to me They know that I've been shutting everything down. But what they don't know is that I've been praying. Praying before I sleep. Praying when, when I wake up. Praying as I go to work. Na. Lord. Lord, please move. Ayun. Mahaba ng video ko. Oh my goodness. But yeah, this video, I'm going to show you the clips of <laughs> I'm going to show you yung clips ko. Yung clips ko sa Gold Coast. So, hindi lang to. Kaya hinabaan ko yung intro ko. O, oh, diba? Itong video, itong trip ko sa Gold Coast, sobrang, sobrang grateful ako. Other people say na meron akong commission sa pag sa pag-recommend ng pathway to all. So, wala po. Wala po akong commission. Sinabi ko yun sa owner, habi ko. I won't, hindi ko halangan ng commission. I'm going to talk about your agency because you guys helped me na makapunta dito nang walang bayad. Although, syempre, binayaran sila ng school ko, pero they were really kind and accommodating. And so, I told them, don't pay me anything. Even yung pagpunta ko sa Gold Coast, I filmed videos for them kasi wala silang videographer. Hindi ako nagpabayad doon. Ang binayanan lang nila is yung flight ko and yung hotel ko. Pero yung service ko, hindi. Because I wanted to give back the favor. And it's something that I really, really would love to do for them. At ma-meet sila. And I'm grateful that I did. Kaya sobrang na-touch ako sa trip na yun. Ayun lang. Let's watch the clips. <laughs> It is so beautiful. This is my first hotel in Australia. And in the Philippines... I book hotels pretty much twice, twice a month, but here I can't do it because it's too expensive, but look guys, please, I'm in love. 
so here's the toilet. I don't know if you can see how happy I am, but I am. So, so killing that I get to experience this. Thank you, Lord. You are amazing. <laughs> I can't believe I'm staying here just one night. I want this to be my room. <laughs> I'm in love. I'm in love. In this kingdom will know no end. And his glory shall know no bounds. For his majesty. Guys, that's where I stayed. Yung malaki na yan. That one. That's where I'm staying. The tall building. And the beach is right here. I just feel it. I just have to cross the road. So yeah. We are off to Tafe. Where are we going? Tafe, right? Nah, we're going to the pathway office. Oh, okay. And then we're going Tafe on the way. To the airport? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. 